Hi bro from WPSites.net. Uh, let's let's take a look at how to set up a membership site using a free plugin. I've written a fairly extensive tutorial on how to do this, but it might be easier if I go through this and just show you um, how to do it uh, in this video. I've got a uh, membership site on my own domain, WPSites.net. Um, it's for a video course. Uh, there's, I think there's 27 videos in this video course. Um, basically, it's a, it's a free it's a free course, but I do require membership, so you do have to create a username and a password and and submit your email address. And uh, and once you sign up, this is pretty much what it looks like. You you log in and you get access to the members area, which is for members only. It's called open registration or free registration, and you can see the range of different videos here. There's there's quite a few. Um, I've used the built-in portfolio uh, page template, um, so it was really easy. I just basically added these images, and uh, and each page has got a different uh, a different post title. And, and here it is here, here's the first one, downloading WordPress. Um, I've used a custom menu to create these, uh, so it's really, really easy. People can actually come through and see this, but if they click on any of these, they'll have to register. So I'm logged in at the moment, so I've got access to it. But if we have a look at a different, uh, when I'm not logged in, you click on the beginner videos and it will come through to a, uh, a membership uh, options page. Uh, this is this is basically a landing page that I've created using the built-in landing page template which is really easy. Uh, I've added a button plugin, Max Buttons, which is a free plugin to create buttons and I've just created register to get started. I'll put in, uh, and, and when uh, when someone clicks on this link, basically they create a username, put in their email address, they put in a capture, which is very, very important because there's a lot of problems with spam once, once you activate the membership side of things. So make sure you have this capture here. Um, and there's different free plugins which you can use for that. So they register there, they get an email sent to them and uh, and then they basically click on a link and confirm it and they get their, their, get their password so they can log in and then they can just come through and they can click on this link and put in their username and password and when they do that they'll basically come through to this page here welcome to the members area and then they can choose which video they want to watch so let's let's have a look at how I did that um, it wasn't wasn't that difficult at all it didn't cost anything lucky luckily I'm using a great theme which has built-in landing pages and a built-in portfolio template so it was all really easy it just took a fair bit of time to do it so we will be using the s2 member plugin so let's just type in s2 member search for the plugins and we'll install this and here it is here we'll install this this will probably take 20 seconds it's a bit slow on a local installation so i'll pause it so okay now we'll activate the plugin and you'll see on the left side here we've got a heap of different options which we can use now the ones i'll just look at today are the general options and also the api list service so this will be from uh you want to hook in uh, Aweber or Mailchimp? You can you can click on here and, and do that. But we'll take a look at the general options first. Now deactivation safeguards. Um, make sure you select yes here, and this will just safeguard any of your data just in case you accidentally deactivate the the plugin. You don't lose anything. Uh, the second uh, setting here is security encryption key. So make sure we go here auto generate the key and uh, that'll help with the security uh, side of things and tighten up the security so that's pretty straightforward uh, local host MAMP developers we don't have to worry about that because look if you want to create a membership site just do it on your live site it's it, it's really not that difficult um, S2 member security badge if you want to give the plugin author credit you can you can click on that and you can uh, you can configure the settings here. 
yes and enable the badge so I'll leave that up to you that's your uh, that's your decision email configuration I just use it use the default settings but email from name you know you can put your own name in there or, or, or your company name or brand name or, or whatever you like really and you can change those settings so that's really straightforward uh, open registration if, you, if you're offering a free product like I am however you're wanting you you're wanting people to register so they have to create a username and also uh, also enter their email address and, and you link that with your email uh, marketing service so it goes onto your list so I mean that's the whole point of this really is to build a list of targeted followers that have an interest in WordPress so I've hooked it up with MailChimp so uh, allow open registrations yes so that's pretty straightforward uh, membership levels you, you, you could have a you could have a premium service and you can have different levels it's it's pretty straightforward bronze silver gold call them whatever you like it doesn't it doesn't really matter uh, in this case I've got free subscribers so it's it's level zero so that's pretty straightforward uh, login registration design page this is this is uh, quite important you can you can brand this and uh, you can add your own logo here which is really easy you can change the background background color you can change these different fields you want, might want more information you might want their telephone number their address it's really up to you I think with free registration I don't think you really can ask for too much more than their name and their email address maybe you might you could get their phone number if you wanting to if you're targeting local or state uh, prospective uh, prospective members so that that's pretty easy you go to the login registration design there you can change the font styles the font uh, uh, sizes the background color I mean you can easily change that it's 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 really simple you can use a background image just upload it to the plugins images folder so here we go s2 member into the images folder and name it bg.png make sure it's a png f uh, file format a and the same thing if you go down to the logo here as well so just make sure you name it exactly the same and you override or, or, or delete the existing uh, default image that's, that S2 member are using. Um, make sure you get the width with uh, you know, the same size of 550. I think you can have it a bit higher than uh, 100, but I think the width is important that you keep it around 550. Um, so that's pretty straightforward registration profile fields you can change them which is which is really easy uh, login welcome page now it's pretty important that uh, you create a page here um, where your members go to as soon as they log in and if you look in my situation here it is here welcome to our members area so this is the first thing members see when they log in and I've used the the portfolio page template and uh, and basically all, all these different uh, links here are posts I've created uh, a category called video and they're all under the video category and uh, and I've just used the widget to, to display them all in the portfolio page template so it was very very easy to do this wasn't difficult at all if you don't have a portfolio page template then it's going to be a different situation so uh, make sure you choose a theme that's got something like this if you've got a video series because this is the way to do it people log in and they can see which videos they want to watch and they can click through and they've got the video here it's as simple as that I've got the sharing buttons up there uh, I've got some text content there with links to related uh, related information and I've got the menu here I've created a special custom menu which is very very easy to do the WordPress menu system really is fantastic so um, that was very very easy to do so so creating a membership site is very easy once you know how to do it so the login welcome page 
Uh, we just had a look at that. Now the membership options page, this is an important page. I used a landing page template and I'll show you exactly what it looks like. Um, let's have a look here in Internet Explorer. This is basically just a built-in landing page template with no header. You know, um, it's got a little bit of a footer there but not much. There's no sidebars and I just added a bit of content. I've got a link for existing members so they can log in. I've used uh, Max Buttons uh, to create a nice button there. I did actually have a, a, a video, an image of a video here. So I might put that back. I took that away. I just wanted to make it uh, minimalistic really. I didn't want, it, didn't want it too cluttered. So this is your membership options page. You you would have different options here, so you could have different buttons or images or links um, here if you if you had different membership levels. But this is basically just free free uh, open registration. So uh, so it's so it's pretty easy. They click here, they create a username, put in an email address, and they register. They receive an email. And they they click that to uh, to opt in, and and it's linked to my email marketing service. So their email address and that name goes straight onto my Mailchimp list, and and then they get access. They can access the video course whenever they like. So it's uh, it's it's a really good plug in this. I really really like it. So you have to create a page for that, and uh, and if you're using a really good theme framework like Genesis with a good Studio Press theme. You, you get a range of different page templates which make it really easy to create a landing page for this purpose. Uh, member profile modifications, URL shortening service, you could use Bitly or, or if you're using another URL shortening service you could use that but, uh, but I don't, uh, I, I really don't believe in URL shortening services because they control your links and I think it can cause a lot of problems. So they're the general options. It's really easy to set up a membership site. Now let's just have a look at the list servers. And the list service is basically your MailChimp or your Aweber integration. So it's really easy. I use MailChimp. I think they're pretty good. I have tried Aweber and I think they're fantastic as well. But, but I think MailChimp technically are a little bit better. I know Aweber's got fantastic sign-up forms and, and, and they, they do really look nice, but uh, I use MailChimp. So if you've got a MailChimp account, basically you have to find your list ID, which is really, really easy. Um, you add your API key, so I'm sure you know how to do that. You log into your MailChimp account. I've actually forgotten my password, so I can't... Uh, <laughs> I've just installed a new hard disk and completely changed the motherboard. On my on my on my laptop side, so I I can't uh, I can't log into Mailchimp at the moment. So you basically just set up these two settings, and that's the API key and the list ID. And uh, and every time someone um, you can have double opt in and all that sort of stuff. Every time someone signs up for your free membership uh, site, they go they go straight onto your list. So so that's really easy. That's this. This is what I've used to create my own uh, membership site. I will be changing the videos at some stage. I know there's some really nice videos out there. They're pretty pricey. I think they're about 600 US plus the video hosting is about 200 US. Um, so I'll be I'll be adding them within the next few weeks at some stage. So uh, um, so there you go. That's 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 just a, a brief overview of how to set up a membership site using the free plugin S2 member. Um, I've written more about it on my, on my blog so you can read that if you like. Um, if you've got any feedback um, just, just leave a comment on my site and uh, thanks for watching. See you next time. Cheers.